let's start. Um, I will uh, talk about the hotel reimagined. From this perspective uh, of what we are doing in uh, 21 way of living, so it is not something related to what is going on in the world, but it's our way of uh, uh, experiencing uh, um, another way of uh, managing the hospitality. So let me start with a couple of considerations before jumping to our model. Uh, for years, we have uh, heard about new trends in hospitality also today. Uh, I just consider three of them, design, uh, multifunctional spaces, uh, and automation. Um, well, I have to say that, uh, unfortunately, in most of the cases, design uh, seems to be uh, just an aesthetic. Uh, um, it is not really related to content. I mean, sometimes it's not related uh, to the experience of the guest. It is more the beauty of the furniture itself. And this is a limit, of course, in this trend. Uh, multifunctional spaces, we have heard uh, even today about uh, converting uh, the spaces of a, a hotel in something different. But unfortunately, the limit here is that uh, you will have always uh, a hotel with something uh, instead than something new. And the point, I think, is that uh, if we want to innovate uh, the hospitality sector, it is key uh, to do things uh, in a different way. So not just, not just to have uh, an hotel with something, uh, but to have, uh, um, let's say, something different. And then the automation. Well, um, of course, there are a lot of uh, amazing things uh, that are possible. And of course, there are a lot of tools already available into the market. But unfortunately, then the limit is the environment. All of us is uh, struggling with uh, the limit of the PMS and in general with the limit of uh, the technology environment. So even if we plan to have something uh, futuristic, then the limit uh, in most of the case uh, is uh, um, that we have uh, a lot of, uh, uh, of limits from this point of view. Um, then the second consideration, uh, it is related uh, uh, to the pandemic. Um, the, the, the pandemic brings uh, uh, a completely new scenario. So let me share this analogy. Um, well, it is like a Formula One race uh, during which a rain shower starts and car accidents happen. So safety car resets the gaps, uh, resets the strategy, and the car setup are no longer useful. What I want to say is uh, um, we really are in a new scenario in which uh, the rules that we had before probably will change a lot. Uh, so, for instance, the, in these days we are seeing uh, that the giants uh, in terms of OTAs uh, are struggling with big issue. So, for instance, in terms of distribution, Michael was uh, saying it before, there will be a big change uh, in, uh, in what we were used uh, to manage and what we were used uh, to face. Even uh, the big brand, I think, uh, will uh, somehow um, uh, face uh, completely different situation because even uh, their loyalty programs uh, uh, in the end uh, uh, have been stopped for a long time. So this for sure will provide uh, a, a, big, a big effect. So in the end, what I want to say is uh, that change uh, is, now, uh, is now not only an opportunity, it's probably uh, something necessary for all of us. So let's jump uh, into our business. Uh, um, so what it is uh, 21 way of living? It is a new brand hospitality concept uh, um, uh, that is operating since uh, February this year uh, with its first property in, uh, in Milan. Um, well, uh, of course we are planning to open uh, new properties uh, and uh, the pandemic uh, should not stop our plans. Um, we are not the only, the only one trying to innovate uh, the hospitality industry for sure, but of course we are one of uh, the few uh, that we have in, uh, in Italy because most of them are based uh, in Central and Northern Europe and of course in the USA. 
the basic idea of all of us uh, it is uh, that hybridization generates synergies and value. So let's see more in detail what we are doing. Um, so um, first of all, our business model has uh, three main pillars. Uh, create innovation through elements of discontinuity, create shared value with the surrounding community and invest in younger generations, which is our mission. Our mission is to develop a physical and digital place that brings social network and the Italian piazza together. A place that offers contents and experiences to our community. So what we want to do basically is uh, to work a lot with digital because and social network, of course, because uh, it is really difficult to, to, to separate, uh, uh, let's say, what is digital and what is uh, real. So we want uh, somehow to put them together. And we want to put them together through uh, the idea of developing a community. And I will explain, uh, I will explain you later on what uh, we mean with this. And we want as well to make a multifunction innovative hospitality space available where people feel at home, which lets them explore the town themselves and meet new people. So this is our mission. Let's see what is our offer. Our offer is uh, diversified yet uh, uh, integrated. So um, in this diagram, you see all the offer um, which make uh, uh, 21 way of living. So we have the hotel um, and we believe that the hotel should benefit uh, from uh, the living environment uh, that it has, uh, uh, say, decide. We have the co-living. What is the co-living? Co-living is a uh, um, very long stay, um, say the average is more than six months, uh, of people uh, that also have uh, um, the opportunity uh, of uh, two, in, in our case, of two uh, shared uh, kitchen, so common kitchen. Uh, so people living in our place, basically. Uh, we also have, uh, uh, in terms of offer, of course, the client events, meaning uh, the meetings uh, and whatever it is related to a client event. Of course, we have the food and beverage with a bistro. We uh, have the content uh, that we produce and create uh, for our community. So we animate the interest and participation uh, of the people dealing with us. And then we have the co-working, which it means uh, co-working uh, in a very cozy way. So all these things together wants uh, to um, let's say, make 21 way of living dynamic and to generate an integrated offer that arouses interest and participation. We tried to differentiate uh, a part of the offer in which uh, the clients comes uh, from outside the town and uh, all the other offers in which uh, there are a mix of clients from uh, out of the town and the city or even the district. Um, so this is important because we really believe uh, that even the marketing that we have to approach uh, to each of these offers, so the related target uh, has to be managed in a different way than uh, what hotel usually do. And uh, most important, then we have uh, the digital area. So as you can see from the diagram, uh, it embraces everything in the end. So there is not... Uh, any, uh, let's say, um, difference uh, among uh, uh, clients coming from outside the town. Uh, uh, there are no borders with the different offers. Everything is together. So uh, going a little bit more on the, on the target, we tried to draw uh, the target very specifically, so which is uh, uh, the origin, the, the average origin of our clients, uh, uh, for the hotel, for the co-living, uh, and so on, uh, which is the age, uh, which is the percentage in terms of gender, so all the specific things. But the, in the end, uh, what we want to do is trying, uh, um, you know, to create value for everyone that is involved, uh, and uh, which is uh, the advantage that we plan to get. It is to 
to get a very high occupancy rate, not just in terms of rooms, uh, but as well in terms of occupancy of the common spaces. So for instance, through the, um, through the co-working, uh, we want to, to get very high, uh, let's say, uh, occupancy in terms of uh, uh, people in the space, uh, uh, while in the same, uh, let's say, period of time of the day, uh, basically in the hotel, uh, uh, people, uh, I mean, the, the space is empty because people leave. Um, the way we try to do it, it is not uh, having the hotel with something, but putting uh, one beside the other, the different offer. So we have a co-working that it works by itself and uh, could be a standalone offer. And the same for the co-living, the same for the events, the same for the hotel and, and so on and so forth. Even the bistro could be something standalone, not related to the hotel or to the other offer. We tried as well, this is the exercise we did with the marketing, we tried to define a story for the main, um, for the main uh, um, target that we have. So we tried to, to draw the, the story of the perfect uh, uh, co-living person, uh, the story for the short-stay business person, and the same for the other, for the other uh, kind of clients, for the other target, for instance, the downstairs or the coast worker. This is important because the, starting from this way, it is easier um, to, to define which should be the... Uh, the, 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 the strategy in terms of marketing, uh, uh, the way you have to approach uh, the target that you have defined, which are different. So you have not just the segmentation uh, uh, from the other perspective, uh, but you have very different target. And then the community. We imagine a group of people who meet uh, online and in person um, and this community is based on common interests and lifestyles. So this community is a community of interest and not a community of identity, which it means uh, it is not uh, the millennials, uh, which it means, uh, uh, let's say, a certain uh, age of people. Um, it is related to, um, to the interest of the, of the people. Um, another very important point uh, is the on feeling. If you see our, uh, if you take a look to our design, uh, I, I hope that uh, somehow uh, it is warm, uh, informal, tasteful, uh, but this is not uh, the most important because in the end we think uh, uh, that on feeling is the union of several aspects. Of course, design is, in what is one of the most important, but then you have the atmosphere, uh, which has to be, in our case, relaxing, not formal. Then you have the welcome, who should be friendly, not servile. Then you have the attendance, that probably somehow is the most important. And it means uh, people in whom it's easy to see part of yourself. So it is important to see around you people like you. Um, so, just to provide some example, why we think we are different. So, for instance, in the welcome, where in a hotel, in a hotel there is a courtesy and, and formality, we are friendly and casual. Uh, or where there is upgrade and upselling, we offer personalization. For the co-living, where there's uh, the accommodation, we offer an experience. Where there's the flatmate, we offer the community. Where there are 24, uh, 25 square meter, we offer 1,000 1, square meter of common areas in the room. So it's different. For instance, uh, where there is the other room, we offer home experience and so on and so forth. Even uh, the approach related uh, to the, the FMB is quite different because, for instance, we want uh, that everybody in the, uh, let's say, in the, in the hospital the environment the host the client so it is not uh, uh, let's say the team of the FMB and the team of the front office we want uh, uh, to have one uh, team that host the uh, the guest and then one of the most important the entertainment where in the 
traditional hotel that there is the bar, that in most of the cases, unfortunately, is empty, we unleave a bar with events uh, open to the whole city. So, uh, once again, the community is key in our, in our approach. We, uh, we thought about a thematic program of contents uh, for this year and next year, and we thought about uh, the topic of the journey. So we uh, planned the journeys on uh, as this thematic program for 2020 and 21, and we divided uh, uh, this big uh, uh, topic into some areas. So travel into the world, travel through ideas, travel through yourself, travel through taste, travel in careers. So that we have uh, different kind of, of uh, content for, for our community. Uh, unfortunately, we started uh, uh, during, uh, during the lockdown to, to plan these events, so we started just digital with some, with some content. Then in July, we had the opportunity to start events in presence, so uh, it was really different because I think uh, that the technology digital will never substitute uh, the importance uh, of the sociality, the importance of being together but could be a fantastic compliment for sure. So my final consideration before jumping uh, into questions. Uh, uh, in my opinion, reimagining uh, the hotel uh, means, uh, uh, first of all, into thinking about something uh, that, still, that still has not a name. What I want to say is, uh, uh, we have to move forward than just having an hotel with something. Uh, so from this point of view, we should move to something that still has not a name, is a different way of managing hospitality. And uh, hybrid hospitality, of course, can provide efficiency in different ways. So for instance, uh, in terms of revenue, I can, uh, I, I can share with you that uh, in these difficult days in which uh, uh, the occupancy in Italy, especially in Milan, is super low, we are talking about 10, 15, 20 percent, uh, we have a very good base uh, thanks to the co-living. Uh, and so from this point of view, even if we are brand new, uh, let's say that we are performing in most of the times uh, uh, better than our competitor in the market. In terms of human resources, is uh, for sure having the opportunity of uh, stretching, uh, let's say, the effort of uh, the team is better than uh, just having people focused uh, in uh, silos, uh, in taking uh, the word from a previous, uh, um, from a previous uh, uh, speech. And then the last, um, I think that uh, if uh, we are able to develop a community I think that uh, people joining a community are much more better than uh, uh, just guests. I mean, if you have guests, it's not the same that if you have people belonging to a community. And that's all. Perfect. Thanks a lot, Nicola, for your project. It's uh, very interesting. We have just a few seconds. I have just one question for you. Uh, what are some of the main trends you see emerging in the industry that will become the norm in the future? Well, uh, I mean, I just uh, would like to focus on the smart working or co-working in the way we can uh, consider from the hotelier point of view. Uh, for sure, this will be a trend in the future because a lot of people will need uh, to use smart working much more than in the past, uh, even after the pandemic will end. Uh, what is important, in my opinion, is not just to have, uh, once again, the order with something, so not just uh, to have a meeting room with some spaces for people, but to reinvent uh, the space of the hotel in a different way. So trying to have that kind of business, which is a different business beside, uh, let's say, the traditional one. 